Hi, I'm Talia and welcome to Soma Pilates. Today we're going to be doing a 30 minute full body workout on the mat. I'm going to be using a pole today, a Pilates pole, just a dowel if you have, or a towel, anything, a broom would work too. But for now, we're just gonna set it aside and we're gonna get on our backs. So I want you to lie on your back for me. Making sure that your feet are firmly planted into the floor. Your ankles, knees and hips are in a beautiful alignment. Your shoulders are relaxed down and melting into the mat. And I'm gonna turn my palms up to the ceiling. We're gonna start off just to get into our breathing with nice pelvic curls articulating through the spine. Take a nice inhale to prepare. Exhale, draw those ribs together. Slide them down towards the hips without tucking the pelvis for now. Then you tuck the pelvis and roll up slowly one vertebra at a time as you push your feet into the floor and push your knees away from you. Inhale, pause. And exhale, roll down. You want to try and keep those ribs together in that nice corset effect and make sure that that pelvis comes down to the floor in parallel. And let's go, inhale. And exhale, tuck that pelvis in and roll up slowly one vertebra at a time. Lift, making sure the, the knee and the hip and the shoulder are in a beautiful line and then coming back down. Let's do another five of these for me. Exhale up for, for three. And rolling down. And up for four, just waking up the glutes, waking up the spine, waking up the hammies. Up for five. And up for six. And last one up for seven. We're gonna hold it there for me. Beautiful, take those arms up to the ceiling. Let's move in some tiny pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, squeeze, five, four, three, two, one, hold it there, extend those arms straight out behind you and circle them around, just hovering along the floor and back up. We're going for 10, just getting some mobility in those shoulders, two, three, keep those ribs together, four, five, we've got five to go, five, Four, check those legs, make sure that they're in parallel. Three, two, and we have one to go, one. Draw those arms around, drop them to the floor. I want you to now stabilize on your left leg for me and lift your right leg up to tabletop. From there, you're going to extend it straight out so that the knees are almost together and hovering and back to center or back to tabletop, and two, beautiful, for three. It's pouring rain outside, four, I would rather be in here, and six, seven, eight, last two for me, and 10. Drop that leg down, reshuffle the pelvis, making sure it's in parallel, stabilize on that right leg for me, Lift that left leg up and we're going to extend and bring it back for one. And two, beautiful, keep going. And, and four, and five, we've got five more. Four, three, two, and one, and drop that leg down. From there, drop, lift those hands up to the ceiling for me one last time, and we're gonna roll down slowly, one vertebra at a time, back to neutral spine. You're now going to take those hands 
and pop them at the temples. We're going into our chest lifts. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, draw those ribs together, belly to spine. Lift that head and chest for me, looking through the knees. Inhale, deepen and exhale down. That's one. Watch not to tuck the pelvis because then you're getting into those hip flexors and they're helping you up this way. You're challenging just the core. Four. And five. Six. Seven. Almost there, eight, nine, and last one for me, 10. Keep the head and chest up off the floor. Take the left leg into a nice tabletop for me, and we're going to cross that elbow to knee and then extend the left leg long, keeping the head and chest up the whole time. For two, three, four, Five, six, seven, you're thinking rib to opposite hip, eight, nine, can we do last one for ten, and now we're going cross, back, and lift your hand to your, um, to your ankle, and down, cross, lift, back to a hover, that's two, Three, lift and hold. Four, lift and hold. Five, six, seven, eight, almost there, nine. And last one for me, 10, and drop it down. Let's lift that right leg up, and we're going to go one, and two, three, five, beautiful, six, seven, draw that belly to spine, Eight and nine, last one, 10. We're gonna go knee, extend, lift and cross, down, knee. Three. And four. And five. And six, seven, abs are waking up, eight, nine, and last one, ten, beautiful, drop those knees down, bring those knees, oh, sorry, drop the head down, bring the knees into the chest, and you can roll from left to right, just releasing the neck and the shoulders for me. Beautiful. From there, we're going to go back up into tabletop. So legs are in tabletop, head and chest is up off the mat, and you're going to extend your left leg long into a nice hover for me. I want you to reach those hands through and keep them there. One, and switch, two, and switch, draw that belly to spine, three, four, five, good job, six, and seven, keep going, lift that head and chest, eight, nine, can we do one more? And 10, bring the knees in. We're gonna move into hundreds. If you're comfortable to do the full hundreds, do the full hundreds. If you need the regression, you keep your legs in tabletop for me and lift your head and chest and beat from there. We're gonna go inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, two. 
Exhale, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, three. Inhale, four. Exhale, four. Inhale, five. Exhale, five. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, six. Exhale, six. Inhale, seven. Exhale, seven. Inhale, eight. Exhale, eight. Inhale, nine. Exhale, nine. Inhale, ten. Exhale, ten. Two, three, four, five. Finish nicely. Bring the knees into tabletop and then drop them down. Drop the head and chest and roll from left to right. Beautiful job. Let's take the legs out into a tabletop. Let's turn the knees out so that you're looking through a diamond, essentially. We're going to do our diamond drops here. You're going to drop those feet towards the floor, keeping in neutral. Only when you cannot hold it any longer, you bring it back up. If you can only move down an inch, that's fine. Two, rather get stronger than injure yourself. For three, and four. Got the shakes. Five. Six. Neck is nice and long. Shoulders are completely relaxed. Eight. And last one. Ten. Hold that diamond. Drop the right leg down and lift. Drop the left leg down and lift. You will feel you're working unilaterally now. Two, control at three, four, four, have to smile when it hurts, five, let's go for six, seven, And eight, nine, and last one for me for 10. Beautiful, bring those knees in together. Whoa, bring the knees into the chest and roll from left to right. Okay, we're gonna take that right leg up to the ceiling now and drop that left leg long into a nice hover. If you cannot reach your ankles, and you can only reach here behind your knee or just under your knee, that's absolutely fine. From there, we're going to lift our head and chest up, making sure you really are lifting, lengthening those legs, and you're gonna exhale, pull that leg in towards you, exhale, deepen it, inhale, swap. We're going to do some variations here. So exhale, exhale, and swap. Keep going, three, and and one more on each side for me and take it there hold it there take the the hands interlace them behind your head rest your head into your hands bring that knee into your chest okay we're going to extend drop bring it in Extend, drop, bring it in. Reverse bicycles. Keep that head and chest up. Lengthen that leg away from you. Keep going. We've got five. And four. And three. Draw that belly to spine. Two. And last one. Beautiful, bring those legs up into, right up to the ceiling for me. Keep those hands interlaced behind the head and we move into tiny crunches, one. And move towards your legs, don't bring your legs towards you. Three. And four. Five. Shaking. Six. Seven. Eight, two more, nine, and last one, ten. Awesome. 
drop the head and chest down for me. We're going to take the legs into a split and we're going to circle them around and bring them back to center. And again, for two. Just five the one way, five the other. Three and four. Try and keep that pelvis parallel. We go the other way. One, it's a good isolation exercise. It's great for hip mobility. Two, three, and the abs are still on fire. Four, and last one, five. Beautiful. Keep those eggs up. Turn out into a ballet first for me. Drop them down to a 45, and we're going to bring them in. And extend out for one. Squeeze in for two. And we're going for 10. Three. Four. Five. Keep going. Six. Seven. You should be shaking. Use every muscle. Eight, I think. And two more, nine. And last one for me, 10. Beautiful, now you can bring the knees into the chest and do a little shake around. All right, I'm gonna grab my pole now. Threw it all the way down there. All right, grab your pole. Sitting up for me nice and tall. If you haven't done a pole workout before, I'm just gonna quickly speak you through it. We want a wide grip on that pole, all right? You want to make sure that your ankles, knees, and hips are in an alignment. And then we're gonna hinge back into about a 45. Your abs need to be engaged. Once your abs are engaged, you know you're in the right place. And then we're gonna just tip over to the right, back to center. Tip over to the left back to center, and then we keep going. Right, left, right, left. Things to watch out for. You don't want your, your knees to shake or move. You don't want your hips to shake. You're twisting rib to opposite hip, and that way you're getting right into those obliques. And let's go five more, five. And four. And three. You can totally use a towel here. And two, just keep it taut. And last one. Hold it there. Tiny hinge up. Drop it back down. Up for two. And down. Up for three. And down. Four, and down, beautiful. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. I'm sorry, but we're gonna hold it there and we're gonna lift and lower for one. Up for two. Four, three, and four, and five, six, good job, seven, draw that belly into your spine, good, shoulders are away from ears, so you're keeping those lats engaged, and last one, ten, lift, and you can actually take the legs straight out in front of you. And a good stretch forward. Awesome. Sitting up for me, nice and tall. You can drop your pole down if you need to. I am going to keep my pole. So give it a shot. If you can't do it, that's absolutely okay. You're gonna hold your pole and we're gonna go into some boat to low boat. So boat, low boat, two. And three, four, draw the belly to spine, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Um, beautiful, we get to drop that pole down now. All right, set it off to the side, and pop it up here. All right, let's get onto our sides now for some more obliques, some clamshells. So you're gonna lie on your side for me. I want you to pop your knees together and lift your feet up off the floor. I like to be up on my elbow. Here for this, you're gonna lift both knees off the floor and we're gonna open and close. One, two, three, good, four, five, and six, working into the obliques, into the transverse. Nine, and last one, 10. You're now going to open, extend, close together. Open, extend, close together. That's two, three, and four. Draw those, um, lift those, uh, sorry, obliques up for me. So I want you to feel like you're lifting up. And let's go three more. And two. And last one. All right, we're not done. Extend that right leg long. Drop the knee down. Lift that leg up to the ceiling. That's one. Lifting out of the supporting shoulder. Two. Drop down. Three. And then we're going to the other side. Four. And five, six, awesome, seven, eight, nine, and last one for me, 10, and down. Beautiful, let's do the other side. Starting off with our clams. Let's get comfy. Bring the feet together, lift those knees off the mat. Extend the obliques, lift up in the lats for me so you have a nice strong structure from which to start. And we're just gonna open and close for 10. Nine, eight, keep those ribs knitted together. Seven, five, and four, three, four, two, Last one, we open, lift, close together. That's one, two, three. Good job, four, four, and five. Almost there, six. Eight, nine, and last one, 10. Extend that bottom leg, drop that knee down and lift up to the ceiling, one and two. So you're balancing on that hip, three and four and six. Seven, eight, nine, and last one for me. Ten and down. Good job. We're going to go on to our tummies now. I want you to take your hands straight out in front of you. Drop your forehead on the floor. Your feet are together and squeezing tight. We're just going to do tiny little Superman. Superman. <laughs> Supermans. You're going to inhale. Lift that head and chest up, exhale down. Up for two. And down. Up for three. And down. Almost there, four. And down. And up for five. And down. Beautiful, bring those hands in towards you. We're gonna tuck the toes. 
and into a beautiful 45 degree push-up position. Okay, I want you to drop the shoulders away from the ears. Make sure that your hands pretty much in line with your shoulders. Draw the belly button to the spine and we're going to move into push-ups. So you're gonna go down for one, hold and up. And down for two and up and down for three and up. Keep going. Down for four and down for five. Hold and up. Beautiful. And down for six and down for seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, up, open up those knees, push back into rest. Good job, we're almost, almost there, all right? We're gonna take it onto our all fours now, into my favorite hover series. We're gonna do some, um, some, a few different ones today. So you're gonna tuck the toes under, and we're just gonna start off in a hover, and down, hover, and down. We are not touching the floor. Pull the shoulders be away from your ears for me. Draw the belly button to the spine. That's three, four, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Hold it there, extend that right leg long, extend the left leg long. Bring the right big leg back in, left back in. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Three. Use the control. Four. And five. Six. Seven and eight. Almost there. Nine. Barely to spine. And last one. Ten. And down. Good job. Push back into rest if you need it. It's a good feeling. You've earned it. A couple more exercises to go here. We're going to go back up. We're gonna get into our donkey series now. Toes are straight along the floor, flat. Lift your right leg up for me. And we're gonna go tiny pulses up to the ceiling. You can drop down on your elbow if you need to. One. I like to keep mine parallel. Two, three, four, five. Keep the abdominals engaged, yeah? Six, eight. Nine, try not to fall into that supporting hip. Let's go 10 more. Nine, nice long spine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it in. Split second out to the side. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Let's take the left leg up to the ceiling and we're going to go for twenty. One, two, tiny pulses. So you're going, when you pulse, you go from your highest point up higher. Draw the belly into the spine, pull the shoulders away from your ears, engage those. The ribs as well, the intercostals. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it in. And out to the side for ten. Nine. Engage the abs. Eight. Squeeze the bum. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and last 
one. Beautiful, we're gonna take that right leg up again. This time, extend it long. We're gonna lift up. You're gonna drop it down behind the knee like a curtsy lunge, extend straight up again. Two, three, cross and squeeze. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10 and tiny rainbows, one, I mean large rainbows, two, three. Keep that supporting leg strong. Five, we have five to go. Four, three, two, beautiful, and last one. And bring that knee in, extend that left leg long for me. And we're gonna go from a higher point, bending it in, squeeze and extend to one, sorry, two, four, five, squeeze, draw the belly to the spine, six, seven, eight, it's easy to let it go when you fatigue. Try not to extend that leg up and over for 10. <sighs> Belly to spine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Beautiful, two, and last one, and bring it in. Good job, sitting back for me. Roll those shoulders back. We're gonna just quickly do a little stretch out, and then you're good to go. All right, let's take it out. Bring the left leg in front for, you, for me into a nice pigeon right, comes for, uh, goes behind you. I want you to try and twist that hip in towards you, and you can reach all the way down if you can and hold that there. Ideally, you hold your stretches for 30 seconds, but I'm going to just speed through these. I would do a full 30 minute stretch if you would like to, just let me know, and we'll get into that. Oh, that feels great, right in the, in the glute hip flexor area. Let's switch sides. reach forward sitting up for me lying on your back let's do a nice figure four stretch take your left leg over your right knee and bring it in I like to use my elbow to push my knee out Glutes are feeling it after that donkey series. If you want to ever use weights, you're welcome to. I like to use leg weights when I do my sessions. And other side. Alrighty, from there we're gonna bring the knees into the chest. Keep the right knee in, extend the left leg long. Really squeeze that right knee in. I really feel it in my hip flexor when I do that. It's great. Squeeze it into your knee. Take it over to the left, across your body. Extend your right arm out. Bring it back in. Extend your right leg along the floor, bring your left knee in, squeeze. Take that left arm out behind you, cross and cross over the body and breathe. Beautiful, bring those knees into your chest, roll up for me, nice to sitting position. 
Well done, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you again soon. Let me know what you're looking for, what you want, and I'll do my best to get on those classes. Have a beautiful day, bye.